Hey, what's up guys? This is Mike with Plugin Tube with another video with another great WordPress plugin. This one is called Content Protector. It's a pretty cool tool. What it does is it will password protect content within your blog post on a WordPress site. Pretty cool if you want to have um, extra information that only certain private individuals can have. Say you're running a promotion and those who receive the promotion have the password can access the extra information whether it be details on how to do something, maybe it's a, a reward for doing something in a contest, maybe it's even a picture you don't want anybody to see on the post unless they have a special password. That's what this plugin will do for you. It's called Content Protector. So what you're going to want to search for is Content Protector, spell it all out, and it's not going to be right away the first one that shows up. You're going to have to scroll down a little bit after typing in Content Protector, but once you find it, you'll see it, and here it is. So I'm going to go ahead and install Content Protector. Once I have this uh, installed, I'm going to go ahead and network activate it since I'm on a multi-site installation. You may be on a regular site, so just go ahead and activate it as you would any other plugin. So we're going to get this activated. I'm going to go to my test site dashboard, and we're going to show you how this Content Protector actually works. Pretty cool. So we see this should already be network activated, so you go to the settings for your plugins and this one actually does have a menu for settings you're going to want to find content protector and go ahead and click that there's a lot of settings with this plugin most of the plugins you've seen me do so far have very limited or no settings at all this has a ton of settings we're not going to go through them all because it's just too much too long of a video i just want to show you the basic functionality so that you can decide in your head if this is going to be something for a project that you're going to be doing or you're doing now and so yeah, let's just go ahead and show you the basic function that Content Protector does. What it does is, like I said, it hides things within post content. So we're going to add a new post. And we're just going to say this is a test Content Protector post. Now, you're going to ask me, how do you protect content? Because if I just say, hey, this is a test post, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to publish that, once you publish it and you go ahead and view the post, I'm going to open a new tab. You can see, hey, this is a test post, exactly as I wrote it out. So how do you use the Content Protector plugin? Well, this is pretty cool. If I skip a line and I hover over um, like the tiny MC editor, you'll see a lock. Hey, if you look for the icon that has a lock on it, that's the Content Protector shortcode. Simply click it. It brings up a nice little pop-up, and you can set the password. We're going to try testing for our password. You can set an identifier if you want to use AJAX or custom CSS on this form. That's a little bit too advanced for uh, this particular video, so we're going to skip that. Uh, you can also set a cookie for unlock content. This is optional, but you should also set an identifier if you want to use this cookie portion of this. You can dig into this once you've got the plugin installed in your environment. Basically, all we need to do here is create the password testing. We're going to insert this uh, protection. Now, I was fumbling around with this a bit before this video to try to figure out exactly where I need to put the content that is protected, so be careful with this. It is a little tricky because if you put content here or you put content here or even before it, it's not going to be protected. The place to put your content to get it protected is in between these little bars here. So you got a short code content protector, password equals testing, and then you got a little space here in between this space and the ending of the short codes where you want to put your content. So to test that theory, Say, hey, um, testing private content. And you're going to want to make sure it's enclosed. And we're going to update the post. Once I did that, I'm going to refresh. And there you go. Um, as you see, this content is protected. Please enter the password to access it. That's the information here. Hey, testing private content. And remember, our password is testing. We're going to type in testing, hit submit. And there you go. Hey, testing private content. Very powerful. Like I said, there's so many more settings that you could use on this plugin that we're not going to get into in this particular video. But just know they're there and know this plugin is really, really slick. Again, if you're having a promotion, if you don't want people to see the content unless they saw your business card with the password on it. I mean, you, it, it could be endless, the ideas that you have with this. You can even do an image, like I said earlier. Um, so let's go ahead and add media and test that out. Um, here's just a photo that I have on here. Doesn't really matter. We're going to insert into the post and uh, we're going to try this update. 
I'm going to refresh, continue, and there you go. This content's protected. Please enter the password. I'm going to enter the password testing, submit it, and now you get to see the image. So this is, again, um, Content Protector. Awesome plugin. Uh, I think you should check it out. It's fun to play with, even if you don't have something quite in mind yet to use it with. But it's something I'm sure will trigger an idea for your uh, membership site or your blog site. Very cool. Anyway, my name's Mike from PluginTube. Uh, check back PluginTube.com excuse me, for more videos and submit your own plugin, and we'll get a video up on the site. Have a good day.